Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley Jane. I share all things beauty, style, and lifestyle related. If you are new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and tap the bell. That way you get notified each and every single time that I have a new video come out. I put out new videos weekly and they are full of value and fun and lots of information. So today I am going to be sharing kind of this little hair journey that I took on my own. Um, I have naturally fine and thin hair, very flat, very boring, drives me crazy. Like I see all these girls with this beautiful bodied hair and texture to it and I get so jealous. And I'm like, how do I get my hair to do that? I want my hair to look like that. And no matter how many products I seem to try, it just never happened for me. So I took it upon myself to try five different products that I got all from Amazon because y'all know how much I love Amazon. I got them all from Amazon and I put them all to the test. Now they're kind of different products in the sense of they, some of them do different things um, and have different application instructions and whatnot. So I'm just gonna run you through uh, what I bought, what I used, and what I think of them pretty much. And I even have some clips of me actually putting the product into my hair um, as well as some information on how I felt about the result or the after look of it. So I'm going to start and I'm going to end with my favorite. So you want to make sure that you watch all the way until the end um, because I'm going to share my favorite for last. Okay, so the first one that I want to share with y'all is this Vol Air. Okay, so I'm trying one of the products that I ordered from Amazon for volumizing and thickening and texturizing my fine, thin hair. So the product that I'm trying right now is going to be the Vol Air. I have actually never heard of this brand before but I was really excited to try it. It had really good reviews, and I'm just looking forward to putting it to the test. So this is one, it's actually mist that you just spray in towel dried hair, it says. So the top of my hair is pretty dry. So I'm just going to spray it in, and then it says to go about drying and styling as usual. I belong, I belong to you. So this is basically just a, it's called an uplift mist and it's targeting your roots and you have to do this after um, you get out of the shower. So I did try this, I put it in my hair and I felt like it was just a really, really light hold. I think it would be really perfect for someone looking for just a little bit of volume and a really light hold at the root. But since I don't wash my hair every day, it really didn't work for me after the first day. The volume was gone and it just didn't seem to stay around. So if you're looking for like a really light root lift, then Volair might be a really good option for you. For me, it just didn't do, it didn't give me the volume that I was wanting. I was going for, I was going for volume, I was going for thickening, I was going for anything that would give my hair some body and make it do something besides just lay flat. So um, for a light lift at the root, you can try ball air. And again, it's a mist, so it, it goes on super light. You don't even notice it on your head, on your scalp or anything like that. And the next one that I want to share with y'all is Fave 4. I had never heard of this before, so I was like, okay, yeah, sure. I read the reviews. I was like, sure, I'll give this a try. The product that I'm going to show you um, an actual tutorial on is going to be the Fave 4. And this is just a, a volume root spray. It says to do it on fresh, clean hair. So I just got out of the shower. Um, it's already starting to dry a little bit, so I want to hop on here and catch me doing it in action so y'all can see. Basically, you just spray it at the roots and then it says you can blow dry and style as normal. For added volume, use a round brush, which we all um, are aware of already. So I'm just going to section off small pieces and start over here. Again, I have like I have my extensions in, so I don't do, I start right here, so I'm not doing anything going down from there. I'm just doing this section up here on top which is where I want the volume at anyways. Yeah. 
This one is Faith for Vertical Volume. And to be honest, guys, I think this one was probably my least favorite. It says on the bottle, I'm pretty sure it says um, non-sticky, life, life without the crunch is what it says. But it totally did make my hair crunchy and I just was not a big fan. Um, I could tell that there was a little bit of volume, but for me, it's not worth having crunchy roots or, you know, crunchy hair up here. I feel like it just, I feel like that would almost weigh it down more and plus it doesn't look good at all. So I was not a fan of the Fave 4. I would say this is probably my least favorite out of all five that I tried. Um, but you know, if you're in for the crunchy look or if you just want to give it a try, then, you know, you can definitely go out and find it on Amazon and I'll put all direct links to all of these in the description below. So y'all can go check them out. If you want to read the reviews and see if they are right for you and your fine, thin hair. Okay, so the next one is going to be Fido, and I actually love Fido. I love the brand. I feel like I actually went to a PR event, um, I don't know, maybe like two or three months ago that was um, all at a salon that revolved around Fido and their entire line. And I was really impressed with the clean ingredients that they use. It's a very um, natural-minded company, and you know they're against putting harmful chemicals in their products and, and everything like that. So I was really drawn into it. I've used their products in the past. I, ha I still have um, a gel of theirs that I use. I've used their shampoo and their conditioner. Super, super impressed with their products. However, I did not. I feel like this worked. It did give volume, but I was not a fan of the smell. So they, since they are natural, naturally minded, they use essential oils and things to scent their products, which I am a okay with because I love oils, but I felt like it kind of smelled like masculine or manly. I don't know. I just, I just wasn't a fan of the smell. So I don't see myself using this again in the future just because I don't want to walk around smelling like a man, but it did give me a little bit of lift at the root. This is another one that you use after, um, a shower on um, you know, your hair is still semi wet and you haven't blow dried or styled it yet. So it does give a little bit of volume. I definitely would say that I noticed that, but I was not a fan of the smell. Okay. So these last two that I'm going to share with you are my favorites. I feel like they worked the best for my hair and they gave me the best results. And I was just really, really happy with them. So the, I don't even know how to say this, just fix extreme volume mousse. Not a fan of mousse. Let me just start off by saying that I'm not a fan of mousse normally because I feel like it does make my hair really crunchy. Um, you, no matter how like fine of a comb I have to comb it out or whatever, I just feel like it always leaves like that weighted crunch in there and I don't like it. This on the other hand was super light. It went on really well and it gave me really good volume. I was really impressed. Like I did not think out of all the products that I, I had my, um, I don't know, my anticipations for, I did not think this was going to be one of my favorites, but it was, and it actually has a really good scent to it. Um, I feel like it just worked really well on giving my hair volume at the root. And this is another one that you're going to put on after the shower, um, with clean hair before you blow dry and style. And also I will say, um, compared to the Valair, which also is, is kind of similar to this other than it, instead of it being a mousse, it's a mist. I will say that the volume on this lasted so much longer. Like I noticed volume still in my hair the next day, which is good because I don't wash my hair every day and I don't want to have to go through the process of washing my hair every day and applying this every day to still have that same volume and that same look. So I love this stuff. I will definitely be using this again in the future. Um, I will say that it does have wheat in it. So if you are someone who cannot tolerate wheat or you're gluten-free, um, be conscious of that because it is going to be going onto your scalp and of course absorbing into your body. But other than that, I feel like this is a great product. Loved the volume, loved the results, and it held really well. Okay, so my last product that I'm going to share with y'all. This one is my favorite. It's actually what I have in my hair right now. And if it weren't in my hair right now, my hair would just kind of be like clinging to my scalp and to my head and just laying super flat. So 
Okay, so today I'm going to be trying this dry texture spray by Foldify. I've never heard of this brand before until I found them on Amazon, but they are, they have cleaner ingredients, which I appreciate. And it's supposed to be amazing for um, texturizing and thickening fine straight hair, which is what I am currently working with. So since it is a dry texture spray, you don't have to do it on freshly clean hair or wet hair or anything like that. You can just spray it directly into onto your dry hair. So it says to hold it um, eight to 10 inches away and start spraying in small sections. It actually smells pretty good too. So since it's a texture spray, I'm going to be, I'm going to be um, spraying some up to like the midsection of my hair just to add some more texture in there before, you know, my curls start. I can definitely tell that it is giving texture. I feel like, um, it's really good. It's also really good for like a hold. Like it would almost work as like a texturizing hold spray or hairspray as well. And as you can see, it definitely is helping right away with giving some body and some volume. So this Boldify texture spray is phenomenal. I think this was really what I was looking for when I was going into this and buying and trying all of these products. I just feel like I wanted something that would hold, something that would give me volume, and something that I could reapply on a pretty consistent basis because, like I said, I don't wash my hair every day, so I wanted something that I could continue to use and it would continuously give me that really good look. So not only is this a dry texture spray, but it also thickens your hair, and I can totally tell a difference as soon as I spray it, like within instance, not only does my hair have more volume, but it is thicker too. So if you are on the more fine, thin side of hair, then you definitely wanna check this uh, spray out. It is amazing. I, I have used this every day since I tried it. I'm in love with it, I'm obsessed with it, and I will continue to use this product unless another product that works better comes along. Uh, but it works so well. I cannot say enough about this. Volumizing, volumizing thickening, all the things. It, it was hands down my favorite products out of the five that I tried. And um, my bottle is actually even half gone. That's how much I love it. So if you are someone who struggles with fine, thin, flat hair, um, definitely check out these products, read the reviews, look at the results. A lot of times on Amazon, they'll have like pictures posted, like befores and afters and things like that. So I definitely encourage you to look through them and see if any of them would be beneficial for you and your hair type. I had a lot of fun, fil or not filming this, but going on this journey and kind of trying all of these products out. So I fully anticipate me doing maybe another one of these or uh, trying something else similar with maybe some different kind of products or something like that. So um, hope that y'all enjoyed. Again, if you are new, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and tap the bell. That way you get notified every single time one of my new videos go out. I have new videos coming out every single week. And if you don't already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I share tons of behind the scenes stuff. You can get more exclusive beauty tips, um, style tips, all the Amazon things. I share a ton of my Amazon finds on there because y'all know I love Amazon. Um, but that's it. So thank you so much for being here with me today and I will see you all next week.